Hey, hey, my amazing friends. Welcome back to Kid Tune. Today, we're talking about something super cool, discipline and planning. So grab your snacks, get cozy, and let's jump into this awesome story. Are you ready? Let's go on this fun adventure together. Don't miss a single moment. And remember, watch till the end. Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there lived a merry monkey named Milo. Milo was known throughout the forest for his cheerful spirit and love for singing and playing all day long. He never worried about tomorrow. He only lived for the joy of today. One sunny day, Milo spotted a line of ants marching by with bits of food many times their size. He couldn't help but chuckle at their tiny loads. Why do you work so hard when the sun is shining, my little friends? Milo called out, swinging down to join them. Why not come and have some fun with me? The ants paused for a moment, considering Milo's offer. But then the eldest ant, wise and patient, spoke up. Dear Milo, she said kindly, we work hard now so that we can be prepared for the days when the sun doesn't shine. It's called planning for the future. Milo didn't listen to the ants. He kept doing whatever he wanted while they went back to work quietly. As the days passed and the sun sank lower in the sky, Milo continued to sing and dance while the ants worked tirelessly, preparing for the coming winter. When the first chill winds of autumn blew through the forest, Milo suddenly found himself feeling cold and hungry. The trees were bare, and there were no fruits or nuts left to eat. Remembering the wise words of the ants, Milo made his way to their colony, hoping for a kind word and maybe a bite to eat. The ants, busy as ever, welcomed Milo into their warm home despite his earlier mockery and offered him a share of their carefully stored food. But as Milo ate, he couldn't help feeling ashamed of himself. I'm sorry for mocking you, he said to the wise ant queen. I see now that your hard work and planning were the smart things to do. Will you teach me how to be disciplined like you? The ant queen smiled kindly at Milo. Of course, dear friend, she said. It's never too late to learn. And so, Milo spent the winter months with the ants, learning the value of discipline and planning for the future. And when spring arrived once again, he returned to his forest home, a wiser and happier monkey. And the moral of the story, my dear friends, is that with discipline and planning, even the smallest of creatures can achieve great things. So let us all remember the lesson of Milo the monkey and the wise ants and work hard today for a better tomorrow. And that, my wonderful friends, brings us to the end of our fantastic story. I hope you had a blast joining Milo and the ants on their amazing adventure about discipline and planning. Did you enjoy the story? I sure did. If you loved it as much as I did, don't forget to show some love by clicking that like button, sharing it with your friends, and hitting subscribe to our channel for more awesome stories like this one. Until next time, keep learning, keep smiling, and keep spreading kindness wherever you go. Bye for now, my awesome friends.